All right. I'm going to look at now faith is. I'm going to look at now. Now is a adverb. It said at the present at the present time or moment, at the present time or moment, at the present time or moment. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the scripture. Mm -mm -mm. Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is. When I, when I think about that and, you know, as I, as I, um, as we as we reflect, right? You think about have a have a you know you go back you go back let's say sixty days go back sixty days and you go back ninety days and just sixty sixty days you can even go back thirty days maybe a week depending on what's going on in, in each man's life or each individual's person's life and you see where your faith was at that time at that day and and faith is 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 what's required daily because what I experienced today, what I went through today is not necessarily what I'm going to experience or go through tomorrow. So now at this present moment, faith is boom, whatever. And that whatever is different for each individual person. Um, uh, I remember, uh, it's coming to my mind now, I remember Bill Winston was talking, uh, he said he was talking to a friend in this example. He said, uh, he said, uh, he, he, the man called him, he said, or, or was talking to him, I don't know if he called him away, he said, Bill, you trusting God for a, uh, for a plane, I'm trusting him for a job. It just, you know, and, and, and I don't know how the conversation went, all, all I can do, I can't remember how the conversation went, but it goes with what we're talking about right now. His faith was here. I'm mm -hmm. trusting God for a job. I'm trusting God for a plan. Two different levels on expecting what they're expecting, but at the same time, both of them are operating in faith. My faith, what I'm trusting God for may be different. And you're on my screen, Mike. My faith may, may be different from what your faith is. And however many brothers are on the line, their faith is what, what they're trusting God for is different so the the blessed part is god has given us faith because the bible said god has given each man a measure of faith and what we are to do is to operate in that faith that faith calls down well that that faith puts puts us in the, the, the realm of the spirit where things that let's look at it, where things that are not evident now faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we're operating, well, we operate in that now faith. We operate in faith. We operate in that realm. It's, a, it's the evidence of things not seen. So I don't see this, but I'm trusting God for this. I don't see. So you're operating in the spirit realm. And that takes us to what is it that we're trusting God for? that lines up with his will. Where, where is it now that you want mm -hmm. me to go? About, right. It's not a, it's not that now faith is not stagnant. Now, you know, it's not something stale, like, Oh, let me go pick this up here. It's not so much. And, and I, I generally at the end of the day, the beginning, you know, I generally say a few things over and over, you know, from day to day when I'm praying, covering and different things like that for the family, but there should always be a sense of freshness because something new has happened. Something new has has occurred, whether we were traveling to work a, a certain way and, and, and seeing the car may be in an accident or, or anything. It's just now, now faith is. And it's just a testament to the freshness of God and how our relationship should be fresh with him at all times. We should be always expecting Yes, and we should always be in tune with what God wants to do. Where are you moving now? Like now, faith. Not now, what do we? We did that. Now, what's next? Now is always. Once the call is over, now I'm going to this this place, and now I'm going here. You know, tomorrow is a different now. An hour from now will be a different now. Five minutes now, it, it's it's just that continuing. Like I said, just that freshness. It's nothing stagnant there. 
And like I said, when you reflect and when we reflect, we look at 30 days, we look at 60 days, we look at a month, we look at two months. Not only do we lift our hands and give God glory because what we was going through then, we probably didn't think that we'll make it through. But now it's like, man, now faith is now that I seen you do that, God, I feel like you're putting something different in my spirit. Now I can continue to climb. I can continue to go forth. I can continue to expect because our relationship with God just has to stay fresh and stay on that now and uh i'm gonna I'm a open up like that mm -hmm. give me one second here give me one second yeah yeah um uh, you were saying something about the comparison and, and it just took me to knowing and believing you can know something but not believe it uh, faith is the beginning stages of believing. When, 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 when your faith is at a level, like you say, faith is the, the, the you know, that substance of basically paraphrases, believing in the unseen, believing in things that I don't fleshly see with my eyes. So faith is the, the beginning level of believing in, yeah, I don't see, but I receive it. I don't receive. I, I, I don't see with my fleshly eyes. And, and we hear the bishop say all the time, you got to receive it in the spirit first before you receive it fleshly. So that faith now allows you, allows us to go to that believing stage in our spirit to say, yeah, I don't see uh, my house being paid off, but I believe it's going to be paid off in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't see with my eyes uh, uh, being debt free, but my faith has taken me to believing I'm going to be debt free. <clears throat> and understanding that comparison is, 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 is crucial because your faith, without faith, you can't believe. <laughs> you know, you're not going to believe nothing but if you don't have no faith. You're going to be a uh, St. Louis uh, person. You're going to have to show me. You know, you want it to be flesh. You want it to be where they do them barbecue ribs, like they say, saucing up with some sauce from St. Louis. Man, I got to see you, man, to believe. It. That's not faith. If you got to see it to believe it, that's not faith. You just like everybody else walking the face of the earth. Once I see it, I believe it. Faith is that, that, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost, that, that, that piece of you inside that says, I'm going to walk in it. Until I see, till I because I believe I'm gonna see. It may not be tomorrow, it may not be a week from now, it may not be two weeks from now, but my faith has taken me to believe and it's going to happen. It's going to manifest in my life. Now to continue to have that faith and believe, you're gonna have to, like we always say, you're gonna have to change the atmosphere. Because there's gonna be some people around you that's gonna try to knock your faith down a level. Why? because they haven't got to the place you have gotten yet. So they're still walking with that fate of show me first. So you're going to have to understand when you get to that realm <clears throat> of, of, of unmovable fate and believing what you don't see, it's going to be a whole group of people like, man, you crazy. <laughs> man, you crazy, man. I don't see nothing. Man, how you believe that? You know where we come from? You know, you know where we, what neighborhood we grew in. All of these things that are fleshly going to try to knock you down spiritually to have you lose faith in everything that God has for you. And that's the hardest part sometimes of life is maintaining that faith to the point where you're killing your flesh. Hallelujah. Going back to your flesh dying daily. Because your flesh is your flesh. What is it? Well, I think P says all the time, man, your flesh, all your flesh want to do is sin. All your flesh want to do is see. All your flesh want to do is believe what it sees. That next level of faith is, man, I believe, man. I, 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 I believe each man here will be a man. Next, you know, that faith is taking us to that next level. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I, I was looking up a Bible verse and, and just, just work with me, work with me. It kind of goes with faith, and, and it's you'll understand what I'm saying with it. Uh, 
in the New King James, it's it's uh John, uh third John. It says, where is it? Where is it? I just had it, just had it, New King James. But look, <clears throat> I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. That's that's the faith. And when he says your soul prosper, that faith element is, it's not just in your bank account prosper. It's your health prosper. Everything around you prosper. Your kids prosper. Sound mind, body, soul, and spirit. That's that faith understanding. My soul has to prosper first. When your soul prospers first, you can walk around in joy. You can walk around in peace. No matter what element you're in, when your soul prospers, you can be in an uncomfortable situation and still bless God and glorify God. Why? Because your soul is prospering. You have faith in God and believe God that I'm not going to be here long. My soul is prospering. Yeah, man, how can you smile in that situation? Because my soul is prosperous. I haven't let anything come in my soul to damage my faith. I haven't let any corruption take over me. So my soul is prosperous. I mean, I can be joyful in this situation. I can shed a smile in this situation, in the valley, in the storm, in the fight. I'm still going to praise God and still bless God. Why? My soul is good. When you hear people say, man, I rest last night. You know what they're telling me? Man, this soul has prospered. Because... The normal person say, I slept well. But when a person say, I rest well, man, their soul is prosper. Their soul is full of prosper. Why? They're at ease. They're at peace. So that's a great subject and, uh, that the, you know, that the Lord gave peace. Just we got to understand what that now faith is. Now faith is to you. Like he said, each one of us is going to be something different because we're all dealing with different things on a daily basis, which is going to make our faith be different, make our believing be different, make manifestation different. But we can encourage each other's faith to continue to go from faith to faith just by this call, uh, by watching somebody walk, uh, watch how somebody's going through something and still maintain it. Uh, strong faith and being encouraged, just whatever it may be, we just got to keep that faith, that now faith, that now faith. Like, and I think he said something that was very powerful. That now faith today is going to be different tomorrow. Then that now faith tomorrow will be different than that faith for Saturday because everything is going to, it's going to be different. You're going to have some different things happen in life on the job, with the family, with the kids, uh, uh, whatever it may be, but that now faith means right now my faith is strictly on the Lord. So I'm in with that. Good to see you, Colos. This, this, uh, this is a scripture. There's so much that you said to unpack. I'm going to go with what's fresh is right now in my mind. Is the is a word is is a scripture that says, like you, we talk about faith from faith to faith, mm -hmm. written the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. As Christians, as born again believers, that's that's the that's the realm. That's like um, look at uh. Let's look at John. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna look. I, I'm gonna look at John, but I'm, I'm gonna look at something else. Ooh. Okay. Okay. It's already. It's. It, it's. Let me see. Uh, uh, okay. So. I'm, okay. We already. We already looked at that. Let me see. Uh, so I'm trying to. I'm gonna look at John first because I got that tag right there. So that ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna look at John because. They always send you to John, right? You know, I hear, hey, man, you just get saved. You need to go to the book of John. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it says, but first John, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, 
and the word was God. Mm -hmm. The same beginning with God, all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of all men. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comp comprehended it not. Let me see something. I'm trying to find something. Uh, um, I'm trying to find where it says uh, the world's, the world's, how we, we understand how the worlds were, were framed and it talks about it. Uh, and the word became flash. Let me see something. I'm going to switch off. And I know it's in John. What you looking for? I'm sorry. It's, it's not even in John. It's in Hebrews. <laughs> so it's in Hebrews. It's Hebrews 11 <laughs> and 3. So I'm going to go to Hebrews 11, 11 and 3 because it's, it's dealing with faith. Okay. We was already right there, man. Uh, okay. So it's very... <laughs> All right, so Hebrews is now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are mm -hmm. seen, not made of things which do appear. I want to focus on through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed. Mm -hmm. All of us, like me, it's so. So, so, so God made the world. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. I didn't see him do it. But how do I, I just believe that. Now that goes to faith. You just believe that. See, don't take for granted that we believe that because I'm, a, I'm going, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the scripture right here. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Romans 12 and 3 says, mm -hmm. for by grace given me, I say to every one of you, don't think of yourself, don't, don't think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance to the faith God has distributed, distributed to each of you. I want to look at that. Again. For I say through grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. So each man that's on that's born again, you know, how I understand it, has a measure of faith. Mm -hmm. The example that we gave, understanding how the worlds were framed, we wasn't there, we didn't see God frame the worlds, but we understand and we believe that. So where I'm going is that faith that we have takes us from just my, the color of my skin. I can see my nails. I know I need to get a haircut. I wear glasses. I put these clothes. That's the flesh, right? I can, the, the flesh, I can eat, I can drink, all these different things. Those are, those are, those are things pertaining to the flesh. But when I quiet myself down and I say, Holy Spirit, because he's the teacher teach me and I sit quietly sometimes now I'm operating in faith because if somebody doesn't have faith see you sitting in your car somewhere they say man who are you talking to you heard you, and you can say you heard that you heard what I'm mm -hmm. I'm here in the spirit because God has given me the Holy Spirit which we connect by faith mm -hmm. so the Bible says the just say I live by faith so this is how I move you move when you're not in faith or somebody that's not born again, you move according to, like you was talking about, Mike, what the directions say, what the news say accordingly. I can sit and hear a word from God and say, no, I got the road. Abram, leave this, leave, what do you say? Leave, leave this place. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Where you going, man? Wait, like you said. And it goes back to a point, the second point that I wanted to hit that what you said. It's people that be around us that we say what we're going to do, 
and they begin to damage what it is that you believe that you heard from God. So going back to your point that you said, if somebody's not operating in in in, in faith, number one, and they're not they're, if they're not operating in faith, and we know this, we have to operate in wisdom that says I can't talk to you about what I believe the Lord is telling me because what you're going to do is consciously or either subconsciously try to take away what I say I believe that God has told me to do. Mm -hmm. Going to begin to damage the process that I'm supposed to be going through because I listened to what you're saying. Every man that moves away from family or different things like that, if you sit and ask your family or ask somebody, they'll probably be like, hey, man, stay here. That's and so it doesn't so like you were saying. But I'm hearing something different. I'm feeling something different. When mm -hmm. I sit by the time, I, I, I can imagine things better for me. I, I, I can. I, thank you. I, I can. I can. I can. I can see better for me, but I can't explain it. Mm. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, is the evidence of things not seen. I don't see it, but I, I, I got, I got substance, mm. and I substance, and, and God is taking me back now. And, and I asked Kevin, I said, "What substance? When they, when, when, when they, when they, when they come to your car?" And I'm gonna just use an illustration. If, 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 if we talking about, uh, 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 just, 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 just go with me. You, you. You 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 check your counters or something mm -hmm. like that. You 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 run your hand across the counter. You get some uh, 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 ship on your hands. And this is this residue. This substance. Somebody must have had some in here. Some some something. So then I begin to look at look for the bag or whatever may have been spilled because I got residue. I got substance. That's that's what I got. By be it faith, I got substance. I I smell victory. I smell something better. I smell increase i smell uh uh favor i smell uh uh more for me or better for me they say wait I, all i got is substance but I say, faith is the substance of things hopeful mm -hmm. what i i begin to allow god say god what is it that you want to do I received some substance. Now I'm going for it. I can't stop. I can't allow you to tell me that residue that 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 I what what, what I feel or what I what what I have uh, received. I can't allow you to stop me. And that's so profound what you said about that because sometimes that's the biggest thing. It's it's people that are around us and we don't see the influence that they can have tearing down something that God may want to give us. So mm. our faith is important because our faith allows us access to talk to the creator of everything. Mm -hmm. And when he communicates with us, God doesn't come in our office and say, hey, let me talk to you as like a physical person, like we can see each other. It's all in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's so if I'm operating in faith and I know somebody's not operating in faith and they don't operate in faith or they're not a believer, why am I talking to you about something like this? My job is to go on the substance of things hopeful. Mm -hmm. you, I got to come and show you when it's when it's manifested because I know where you at. It's like being in, it's like it's like it's almost like being in school. Right. You're telling of uh, uh, you're trying to explain something to a first grader or kindergartner when you're in college, you're trying to show them your homework and how you do it. They can't understand what you're talking about. And, and that's the only example I had come up with. But when we operate in faith, and I'm trying to show you something or tell you something, you're not operating in faith. Like you said, you got to, like you said, Mike, the, the St. Louis is show me state. You, I got to show you. And at that point, when we're discussing something, that's an indication we, oh, I know where I'm at. I, I'm sorry. My bad. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about the game or something because you 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 ain't picking mm -hmm. up with that. I'm telling you, I'm about to move yeah. here. Or I'm about to purchase this. So I'm about to do this. Or, or you got to see it. My bad. Mm -hmm. Let's let's just let's just talk about uh, what we can see right here. Sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you ain't yeah, yeah. operating. This is, this is <clears throat> who we talking about. Who, we're operating in faith. We're operating on what the scripture says. The word says he will get in the midst. It says, with two or three are gathered, he'll get in the midst. So we're mm -hmm. operating just as God is in the midst. 
like right now. So we're not just talking words. Somebody said, oh, man, they're just on a call. They're just talking. No, we're getting fed. We're getting instructions. We're learning how to operate in this name called faith. Yes, so yes, when yes. We see just a little bit of substance or something. We like, OK, that that's just a little residue. That residue, residue means something was here or something's coming here. Mm -hmm. We go out and you get one drip. You best get an umbrella. You mean, oh man, I'm good, man. I'm just going business as usual. You better check your forecast or make sure. So, hey, that's, I, I feel like a little bit of rain ready to come. I mean, you can be a fool and not take your umbrella, but uh, <laughs> you might want to grab your umbrella, some poncho, or you pay for it. If you're going to do a barbecue, you might want to start sitting out. Hey, we're going to do this tomorrow because you felt a little substance. Now, guess what's coming behind that? Usually rain coming behind that. So, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> nah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Man, that's good. That's good. That's good. Man, if we only told my feet. It took me to the, the verse I've been chewing on for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go to it. Everybody, hurry. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to something else. But it's uh, John ten ten. I like the amplify. I think PC like the amplify too. Uh, it, it says the thief comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. What do you think you want to destroy or kill? Your faith. And it's your flesh. It's your faith. Because if I kill your faith, I kill your thoughts of believing that God is going to do more for you. So I come to steal, kill, destroy your faith. When you get around those now I'm believing, like you said, P. I'm talking, man, you know, man, I'm believing God, man, go get me, you know, God gonna do this, God gonna do that. And he go home, boy, man, I don't believe that, man, I don't see nothing. Show me something. Man, I'm gonna have to show you two or three weeks from now because I gotta get away from you right now. Because you are a substance in the devil's plan to kill my feet. Because you walking around talking, about, I don't see nothing, man. How you gonna tell me that? I don't show me something. So you're being, like he said, a substance. I can touch my own boy. He a substance that's trying to kill my feet by his words because he's walking in his flesh. I know what my God can do because he has done it before. But because of your non-belief and the lack of faith, not saying you're a bad person, but your lack of faith is trying to kill my faith. So I can't let you steal, kill, and destroy. I can't let you be part of the enemy's plan to use you, not saying you're the enemy, but I can't let the enemy, Satan, use you to destroy me. That's like committing suicide. You know, you if you know your homeboy is doing that, not saying he's bad people. I, I, I say it over and over. That's not our job to say anybody's bad, but it's our job to say, like Abram and Lot, we got to split up a little bit because I'm going towards God. And right now, you just settling for, I got a seed to believe. So that, 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 that John 10, 10, like I said, that first part describes some, what the enemy's trying to steal, but that, that, that second phase, I came that you may have life. I mean, came that you may have a believing, a faithful life, a life full of faith, a life full of believing, a life full of soul prospering, a life full of everything that I have planned for you, not just mediocre, but in abundance to the full, till it overflows. And that's the, like he said, this call is, is not just for us to come in. Oh man, y'all just so now y'all just listen, blah, 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 blah. Nah, it's, it's, this feeds some of us and not all of us. So nobody take it personal. Some of us may not get any feed, may not get any, any strong feed on a steady basis. And it may not be anybody on this call, it could be another person. But what I'm saying is, somebody may not be getting the necessary, necessary nourishment for the spirit they need. And when we are saved and we get to a place, our number one job is to bring somebody with us. I'm going to say it again, our number one job is to bring somebody with us. Because I guarantee you, you don't have to raise your hand. When one of y'all go to a restaurant, the food good, 
You don't keep it to yourself. Man, you texting your homeboy or your coworker, dog, I just had some good fried catfish for best in town. You got to check them out. Man, I just had the best barbecue I ever had. You got to check them out. Whatever it may be, you're not holding that to yourself. Being saved, giving your life to Jesus Christ, if it has changed your life, why not bring somebody else along? Give them an opportunity to change their life. That's what we should be doing, helping somebody else increase their faith from either faith to the next level of faith or for that person that's doubting, man, I don't know about this Christian thing. That's our job to say, brother, look here, come on over, man. You've been doing it your way for 30 something years. I don't see no results over there. Why not try something different? What you got to lose? Nothing from nothing is nothing. So what you got to lose? Come on over, man. Come over and, and, and try try this thing I'm doing right now called Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. You know, sometimes we have to put it in such simple terms and not make coming to Jesus complicated. Not make it so hard that people say, man, I don't know if I can do that. Man, it's simple, man. None of us did no Catholic class to get here. I don't even know how. I don't even know where to find Catholic. None of us had to do none of that high-speed microbiology to get here. It's simple, man. Just open your mouth. Open your mouth. Accept, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Increase your faith and start believing in what God has for you. It ain't no, no rocket science, it. Ain't nobody going in the morning back. We right here. And I'm in with that. I'm sorry, Miguel, you might be the only one doing calculus. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> um, hearing, hearing what you said, hearing Mr. P, hearing you again, um it 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 it, it brought it brought me it brought me um as a real situation when and we talked we talked before that in a way to communicate with God, we gotta be in God's frequency. No him, no God is in our frequency, but we in God's frequency. Because God has it. And when when it comes to faith, we have it. And the person that's come to the star doesn't have it. So in a way to communicate with us, in a way for us to allow that person to communicate with us, that person has to be in the same frequency. Like in real life. 60 hertz doesn't work with 80 hertz. In a way for, for you to make 60 hertz machine to a, another machine, 60 hertz work, both machines ha have to be in the same frequency. The frequency of your TV has to match the frequency of your control remote. If you're not, they don't communicate. Why? There's a reason. In a way for things to communicate, they're going to be in the same frequency. Mm -hmm. They're going to be in the same frequency. And also comes to the point that when you listen to people who is not on the same frequency as you, when you listen to people that is not on the same direction as you, I would not even say same frequency, but I would say same direction. Because sometimes your faith may be stronger than someone else, but that person also has faith and is working towards the same goal. But when mm -hmm. you when you allow to talk with someone or people that are not going in the same direction as you, that is a dragging force. That's friction. That's dragging force. Friction is good. Friction makes you move forward. But dragging mm -hmm. force makes it harder. Dragging force sends you in another direction. Friction mm -hmm. makes you move forward. Dragging force pulls you out. And mm -hmm. it's like you don't see AC and AC energy communicating with DC. For DC energy to communicate with AC energy, you gotta put a converter. So if for someone that has a different energy than you to talk to you, that person has to convert. AM and FPM, they don't go on the same band. They just, they separate them on the radio. Why? Because they don't match. If you wanna match AM, 
FM and FPM, you gotta use a converter. So don't allow people that's not in the same frequency as you to destroy what you're doing unless they convert themselves. Mm. You know. And and one reason is Jesus have to 12, 12, 12 disciples. And yet he picked some with him to go in most difficult missions. Why? Because he need someone that was on the same energy as him was. That Ooh. just that just shows how important it is to surround yourself with people that are fighting with the same fight as you, people that is going in the same direction as you. Why every mission, Jesus didn't say, hey, let's go all pray. Hey, mm -hmm. let's go all to the mountain. Why? Because Jesus knows that for, for that purpose, he needed people that was close in the same direction and so close on the same frequency. So opposite opposite frequency, opposite force, they drag you back. Mm -hmm. They drag you back. That that is one plus one. It's just a matter of you believe it, you allowed it, or you force it. And at the end of the day it's, it's, it's something that is really, really, really true. We treat we treat people and we teach people how they affect us and how they treat us. Mm -hmm. You know for sure if someone if someone finds you in a in a, a stage where you say, "Hey, I'm looking sick for mm -hmm. God," and if you tell that person, "Hey, I am not allowed in nobody and nobody, no matter who, to disturb or come or come across my path," you will know that the rest of people around will stay on their lane. Because he already used one as an example. So that, that that's what I, I had. Mm. You said you said a word, Carlos, it. You said having it. And you use it two or three times. It just it took me to a verse, uh, John 19 and 30. I'm reading the NLT. It says, uh, when Jesus had tasted it, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It. We all play. I think we all might have played some sports. Everybody here. You might have had a coach say, man, so-and-so got it. And you were like, man, what's it? Did he buy? Is it in some Gatorade? Nah, it's just that it. And Jesus said, it is finished. That's that it. It. You know, what is it? Knowing what you have is it. You can have, you can be a superstar in whatever you do. Let's, let's, I'm going to use Brother Austin. Virginia State, man, he's he been around a player. Coach probably said, man, Austin got it or so-and-so got it. He saying you got it don't mean nothing until you say, I receive it, and then you got to move to the next phase, know what to do with it. Because just having it and not and don't know what to do with it, you got a, you got a whole bunch of nuts because you don't know what to do with it. You got to know what to do, what to do with it. And I'm going to go back to Jesus. Jesus knew he had it. That's why he said it is finished. Because he knew his what was it that I got to die on this cross. No matter what happened, I got to do this. He knew what that it was. And that's where we got to go with, with our faith. We got to know what that it is. And believe it. And walk with it and walk through it. No matter what happens, just know what that it is in your life. And that's Jesus, you know. And I just want to piggyback off that uh, uh, that word, it. Yeah, it. Man. I'm thinking uh, about uh, you know all the things that we we've discussed so far, 
And, um, you know, one thing, one thing, I'm going to be honest, right, because that's all, you know, just be transparent. One thing I don't like, one thing I don't like about church is people say a lot of things, right? We got a lot of brothers on different levels. People say a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's like, because people in all different places, right? So I can't judge them because this is, this is, in this example, I hope this helps, right? So there are people that we meet on all different levels. Man, there are some people that got PhDs, where I was higher than that and higher than that, and they don't went to school and they came up in school. So some of the things I like to keep keep it, I like to keep it simple, right? A scripture came to to my mind and it it is childlike faith. Mm. When you're dealing with faith, and God, I, I, I believe Jesus, when he was teaching, he said, you, 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 you have to become like a child or something like that in, in your faith. I'm paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. So when you're operating in this, whatever level, some people can say, I heard God say something, I'm gone. I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. That's not me. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not me. Because I don't trust me. Mm -hmm. I know of things in me that's not good so this is what i do lord if it be you sort of like what peter said bid me then then i don't say bid me but i say lord if it's you you do thus and so because i hear this and it sounds like a good idea mm -hmm. but is but is this a god idea mm -hmm. i can come up with things because i can create too I can create some things, and like Miguel was saying, the force. I can force some stuff, <laughs> and it be, and it, and it'll be. But now I'm tired, and, and, and I'm sweating. I heard a message that was preached uh, uh, at the church. Uh, 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 one of the elders had preached, and you know, it's 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 that struggle, right? Mm -hmm. When you, I smile when you said it because that's something I've been meditating on. When Jesus said, "It is finished," everything has been set right. So people say operate in faith and different things like that, depending on what level you want. People are like, oh, I don't know what you're saying. It's simple. If you're a born again believer, it's just a matter of taking time away, going sit. The Holy Spirit is the teacher. Look at the scripture. I acknowledge you, Jesus. I thank you for what you've done on the cross. Holy Spirit, lead, guide, and teach me. Mm -hmm. I turn out, I want to hear what you have, and I'm just going to sit. Then when things begin to come, you say, Lord, is this, if this is you, you lead it. God ain't, ain't. I heard somebody say it, and it goes with saying again, God don't need our help. Mm -mm. We read a scripture that said, he framed the world. We, the world. <laughs> we, 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 we was made out of dirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every day is already written. So if you say, Master, Dad, I'm a child. I need your help. If you don't leave me, I promise you I'm going to go through the wrong door. Because I know everything in me going to say go to the wrong door. But if you lead me and you guide me, you lead me and you guide me. You make it so. You make it so. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't mess up. I believe God will make it plain. I'm plain. I, I try to keep things plain because I don't trust myself. I'm stubborn. There's a whole lot of different things in me, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That I don't like. So I have to rely on. Right? And and sometimes, and I said that because sometimes things are said and you can be in a flow. And we can be in a flow. We can be in a flow. But, we, you know, we have to be mindful or I have to be mindful of the audience. Everybody didn't go to whatever school you went to and different things like that. And everybody has to be helped, right? It's, yo, this is what I do. Well, if they help you, some people say, man, I heard the Lord, I'm gone. I already know that was him. I understand this. And all man, look, man, high five, brother. I'm going to be, put me back in the, put me back in the intermediate class or the slow class, brother. I'm going to get there. 
Uh, but uh, I'm gonna need, I need, a, I need a few more, I need a few more minutes on my test. You know, people finish their test early and they say, "I'm done." Well, I ain't done. I need to make sure it makes sure it's him. But God knows how He wired me. He knows all that I've been through. He knows everything about me. But yet, and still, He still loves me, just like He loves each one of us. And there's nothing that we can get or we can do uh, with that love because Roman eight tells us that, right? It tells us that who he foreknew, mm -hmm. God knows us. He knows everything about us. But when we come as a child and say, Lord, lead, guide, and direct us, he will do so. That's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. It's just that gets in the way. You know, us, we, we get in the way whether we whether we want to do we want to do what we want to do. We want to shoot from the hip. We want to go this way. We want to go that way. Or we don't want to listen to the teacher. And then we, as bishops, I've seen them walk around the pulpit. You know, you just, we, we just keep going around and around and around in circles, you know, and that's not God's will. All right. God wants to prosper us. And like you said, it's not just financially, but prosper us. You know, it's certain things that have been going on in certain families and different things like that for a long time. And God, like, if he can get somebody just to sit down and listen, and I hear Bishop say this a lot, if you can, you can walk with him, you know, walking together and just getting in agreement, Lord, is this you? What is that you have me to do? What is that you have me to say? And I've seen situations go just like that. I'm talking to somebody on the phone and I say, Lord, is this you? You want me to say uh, a little bit more, to elaborate a little bit more, have them to say something. And then they say something, right? And it's just not me. I'm not operating in my flesh. I'm not operating in what I think. It's always me putting myself in a, in a, in a position where you 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 have everything that God gave you, authority, dominion. But this goes back to that message that I was listening to yesterday that the, that the elder had preached. It I'm under authority. I'm under God's authority. God, what is it that you want to do? All that mm -hmm. you've given me and all that you've blessed me with. You know, us. We got kids. We got wives. We got people that. Uh, look at us. What different roles and jobs or whatever it may be. People are mm -hmm. looking. For looking towards us as leaders, but when we put our badge on and say that we are Christians, man, I'm listening, I'm looking for that godly wisdom, man. I ain't looking mm -hmm. for stuff that you're gonna just slap together and you just like Miguel said, you 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 pulling along. What is what is what's fresh? What you got, man? What's your right. what you got? What can you tell me right now? And when somebody asking us something like that, we back up. Oh, I I understand that you're coming to me, but I understand what it is that you see you seeking godly advice so well, let me let me back up and let me pray either out loud or under my breath holy spirit get in the midst because they're looking for you not me mm -hmm. and isn't it about him and not us mm -hmm. and in that case that's all day lord if you want me to do this lord if you want me to go over here and I'm 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 trusting God and I'm I'm really learning this walk and this is just my personal where fun right it's been so long where people are like yo Christians don't have fun if God created everything then then, then you skewed up the definition of fun mm. I ain't high I ain't got to be drunk I ain't got to be laying in bed with somebody else girl to have mm. fun I can have fun. I can have finances. I can drive that car. Whatever mm -hmm. that is, and, 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 and God wants us to, to prosper. So it's not, God is not somebody like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to wait for him, I'm away from him to mess up. And then, no, 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 no. Like you said, Mike, that's the finished work. When Jesus said it was finished, sin can't separate us. The only thing that separates us is us wanting to do our own thing. I don't want to listen to the plan. I want to walk over here. I want to walk in whatever I want to walk in. And I don't I don't want to flow and I don't want to be obedient to what right. it is that me to do. I want to do my I want to build my own house the way I want to build my house. And when we do that, we we're making a conscious decision just to just to walk away. But what I've known, I, I'll tell you this, and, and then I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna back up. I got saved when I was 19. I'm 36. Everything I did, 19, you know, those, 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 those teenage years and stuff like that, where you having fun, it didn't amount to anything. I'm not saying that just it didn't amount to anything. Since I've been saved, I've seen God do things. I have I have 
he has a track record with me where I can look back and see so many things that I never thought in my life that we, when I say we, myself and my family would accomplish, it's because of him. Mm -hmm. It's because that your soul prospering, Mike. When you have peace when you're doing it, where you can, you can, you can, you can think ahead. God, I want to do dusting. So I want to be able to go there. I want to be able to me and my wife fly over there and do that and do this and do this. Coming from where you come from, like you say, it's like, wow, God will do those things. That is having fun because he lines it up. He tells you how to spend it, how to move this, do this, don't do this when we check in with us. So we have everything that we need. The enemy has nothing that we need. Everything that, like you said, my everything that he tries to, 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 uh, cause he doesn't have anything. Everything he tries to portray has a cost on it that we can't pay. And what you mm -hmm. said on that stuff, remember you said the interest on that stuff is too high. God has our whole life and say, listen, man, this is everything I got for you. Which is Jeremiah 20, 11. I know the plan, plans to prosper you. The devil say, steal, kill, destroy. But yet and still, we get to, we get to the end, we drive down the road and say, should I go left or should I go right? Should I? Man, a flesh, look, you got to take the back seat, Lord, which way you want me to go. Because when you tell me, I'm going to be straight. If oh, I nice. go, man, I'm going down. But see, that's yes. wisdom. It yes. is. I already know how this book is. If I listen to this dude, and if I listen to my flesh, and I go over here, Everything going down. If I go this way, it might be some work, but I already know God like this. Like an airplane, take it off. Yes. Then when you get to that cruising, you might get a little turbulent, but you cruising, boy. You take your seatbelt off, you're free to move around the cabin. Like you made a little drink, pretzels, whatever you want. <laughs> you can... take, hey, listen, take me to my next destination. We hit a little turbulent, I put the seatbelt on. Okay. Are right, we good again? All right, where we going, Lord? Oh man, look at this. This place nice here. Get back on. Oh. Only illustration came to my mind. And, and, and I like that yeah. one. Nobody else. I digress, sir. Nah, it's all good, man. The word. I've been using this. Go ahead. I ain't gonna say it. God gave it to me a while back. And even in this verse, when Jesus said it is finished, if we go back to our school days. The best teachers always say, turn in your work when you finish. They never say turn in your work when it's done or when it's complete. They always say when it's finished. Because what it means when it's finished, ain't no turning back. Just like when Jesus said it is finished, it's done. Ain't no turning back. And I tell them, well, this is something I tell my kids. When I say do something, do it till it's finished. Don't do it till it's complete. Because when you do a test complete, I can tell you right now, it's 70% done or less. Doing it till it's finished means you went behind yourself and check your work. That's what the teachers meant. When it's finished, you took time to go back and review what you have before you turn it in to make sure it has everything you need. But in Jesus, he said it's finished. It's complete. Like Peace said, you can't go back and, and do nothing, but you won't go back and create. God created the world. What you want to do? Pick up a couple of branches? You know, ain't nothing you can do. It's, it's done. It's finished. And I wanted to, you said something, and I'm going to close up with that, but it was powerful. But I'm going to go back to uh, with Chef, and I'm going I'm to use Chef uh, ministered on Wednesday, yesterday, when you said math took me to the books. And it's uh, John, I'm sorry, Luke 5 and 5. I'm going to start there. And it says, Master, and this is Simon Peter talking. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard. And I'm saying, what is what I'm saying? Oh, the NLT. He said, Master, <clears throat> Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets again. And let me back up. I want to start it for. And this is Jesus. Once he finished preaching, once, once he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it is deeper 
and let down your nets to catch some fish. And that's when verse five time and say, Master Word, basically, man, we've been up all night and caught a thing. But if you say so, I'm going to have enough faith to go ahead and drop these nets. And in verse six, it says the nets were full of fish. They began to tear. They had to shout out for some help to come. Why? Because being obedient, trusting God with your faith and dropping the nets again will cause what? Goes back to John 10, 10, abundance to the full, till it overflows. He, you can't question. And, and like Chef said, it's so, so profound last night. He said, at that moment, they had caught all that fish. And the next thing Jesus said, uh, verse 8, when Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, oh, Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. Didn't trust himself. For he was astonished or struck by the number of fish they had caught, as were the others with him. His partners, G, uh, James and John, and the sons of Zebedee were also astonished or amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be a fisherman of people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed you. And I just want to repeat, repeat what Chef said last night. He ministered that word so powerful. I'm sorry, Sunday. I'm sorry, I said last night, but Sunday. He ministered that word so powerful. And when he said that, he's the last thing he said, as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. And sometimes we got to ask ourselves, what are we willing to leave behind to follow Jesus? See, we want to take our flesh and follow Jesus. We want to take all that and follow Jesus. But sometimes we have to ask ourselves, what are we willing to give up? What are we willing to leave behind to follow Jesus? Jesus. And think about it. They just caught this amazing amount of fish. Nets breaking. They just worked all night and caught nothing. And today's time, like, like chefs, man, most of us be like, look, look at Jesus, man. Let me go and cash this nickel in. Man, so I got some money. So when we leave, we got plenty of money. They didn't say that. They said, man, we leaving the boat, all this fish. Why? Our faith is in you. We're leaving all this behind. Wherever you go, it got to be better than this. <laughs> that faith, wherever you go, got to be better than this. I'm leaving all this behind. It, this is small potatoes compared to what I'm going to find with you. So once again, like he said last uh, Sunday, what are you willing to leave behind? <laughs> How much of your flesh you willing to kill? How much of your pride you're willing to leave behind? How much of your, your, your own personal wisdom and knowledge you're willing to forsake to say, Jesus, you know it all. How much of, of I'm a man. I don't need nobody. I don't need no advice. Are you leaving to leave that behind? How much are we willing to leave behind? That's a hard question. But it's an easy question. I know that's a double negative. But it's a hard question. But it's an easy question. So, yeah, I'm in with that. Uh, 805, P, 805, baby. You know what we do? Yeah, oh. let's run, let's oh. run around the home. Let's run around the home. Brother Lamont, let's start with you, brother. How you doing? Talk to me. Brother Lamont, can you hear me? Yeah, I get you. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm so sorry, man. How you doing? How you doing, fellas? Yeah, yeah, we good, man. That mute button could be a mug, ain't it? Man, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm doing, doing everything going steady for me. I ain't mm -hmm. got no complaints for real. I just got a coin on my toe. That's it. So other than that, I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah. 
Praise God, Brother Dave. That's the biggest problem you got, man. Life is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, brother, just uh, glad, glad, glad you're here, man. Uh, continue, continue to do what you do, man, and thing to let God feed you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right, so appreciate you. Yes, sir. Brother Carlos, what's happening? Brother Love. Brother Loach. Yeah. Yes, sir. We got you. Oh, it has been a it has, it has been a good week. Uh <laughs> personal has been a good week. Uh our work wasn't that, that, that bad, wasn't that good. We 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 lost uh we 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 lost Mr. Steve on Saturday. So uh -huh. we we be dealing with that for through the whole week. But personally everything was alright. Mm -hmm. the loss of Mr. Steve. So but we we dealing with it. So we all were hoping to for him to be back like in a few weeks and mm -hmm. that that got us Unprepared. Right, right. Well, you know, def definitely have our condolences. And, and, and our bishop said something one time, man, that just was profound to me. And he was enlightened about prayer. And he said, man, this place this times he has been in the hospital and praying and, you know, praying for somebody to recover and healing. And it just didn't happen. He said, I just want you to know that's not, God hadn't failed. Their time was just up. You know, it was a part, it was according to God's plans. Uh, and his plans will always override whatever we feel, whatever we do. So, you know, Mr. Steve, you know, condolences, but it wasn't that our prayers are not working. It's just God's plan. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And um is 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 was kind of one of the situations that he said, hey, I'm at home. I'm back. I'm going to go ask for another doctor appointment, opinion, but I'm good. And we were like, oh, wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And we were, well, our hopes were up. And it, it also deals to the, to the kind of person he was. You know? mm -hmm. He was a nice, a nice human being. And, uh, when right. it comes to family, he he took everyone as it was, as it was his own. So, so everyone loved him as a parent, uh, as a grandpa, and, and everyone was like, <laughs> Steve, Steve, Steve. Uh, yeah, it's... yeah. Praise God, man! You had the opportunity, the blessing is you had the opportunity to meet a gentleman like that, uh, like Mister Steve, and and he has probably impacted your life. Uh, in more than one way, and that's that's the blessing behind it. Uh, um, but it goes back to what we said earlier. Um, it is finished when your assignment is finished, and nothing you can do about it, man. You just your your assignment is finished. You you know he has in his time he has did God's work and impacted people's lives in every way possible. Uh, and the assignment was over, but he's blessed, you know, blessed people, and he, you know, he's blessed. Praise God. Praise God. Sure. Thank you, sir. Um, brother Javon, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we you go. Uh, this been good. Yes, sir. Been good, you know. You we can complain all we want to, but guess what? Instead of complaining, complaining, start praying. That's yeah. how you fix that. So that's yeah. all I gotta say. Y'all have fun. What? Enjoy y'all evening. Huh? What? I see that face. What's wrong with that face? Fix that face. That's it. Fix your face. Ain't, ain't no food on this plate. Fix your face. Ah, that's why I said that. Ain't cool. <laughs> but no, man. Uh, just been blessed, and you know. Sitting back and you know, 
I'm going to say this and I might be reaching, but every person on this call is blessed in a way that we will never, ever understand. That's what I mean by that is you are a blessing to me. You're a blessing to the next person. We are a blessing to each other. And I thank you guys for that because seeing things that and hearing things that you go through, it lets me know that God is real. No questions yes. asked. No hands down, 10 toes, like you said, 10 toes down. And I feel like the thing that we need to do is, is we need to get stronger in that belief of God will fix everything. Mm. He has everything in control. It's it's more of a mental thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, <clears throat> if you get your mind in, in tune with God and everything, and it's not going to happen overnight, of course, but once you get in tune, you will see changes where you thought will never be possible. You will see changes in people more so than in yourself because yeah. whatever is coming off of you that God is putting in you, it's rubbing off on them in a, in a little bit. That's what happened with me and Birdvine. That's what happened with me and Kevin. What God had placed in their life rubbed off on me. And if we take that as into our everyday life, you'd be surprised at the changes you'll be surprised that, you know, people that used to be, you would consider be negative towards you and whatnot, they look at you different. Mm -hmm. They greet you more. And mm -hmm. I see that God is working through me on them because I'm not doing anything but talking to you. But mm -hmm. what I'm talking to you about, I'm talking to you, to you. I'm not talking to your spirit. God is talking to your spirit through me by the conversation. And I encountered something like that yesterday with a old friend of mine. And it was good to see him. It was good to see the change in him. But the most important thing that was good was, was that he never acknowledged God for anything. Never. Mm. And last night he said, man, I thank God for you. Mm. I'm like, what? I looked at him like he, like he lost his mind. That was, you know, me looking at him back then, but I had to sit back and look at myself. I said, if he did it for me, why he ain't doing it? Why he can't do it for him? So mm -hmm. I told him I appreciate it, you know, and he said, you know, I see you and I see that you don't hang around the same kind of people. You walk differently. You by yourself most of the time. I said, I'm never by myself. I got God with me. And I said, that's what I had to realize. I don't need a whole bunch of people around me to feel special. I don't need a whole people, bunch of people around me to feel important. All I need is knowing is that God has got me, no yes. matter what. He got me. And I'm starting to get stronger with it. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not 100% there. I'm still from the South Side, mm -hmm. but everything looked better on the North Side. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the North Side. I'm leaving yes, that foolishness behind. I like seeing the progress. I like hearing the call. Yeah, we have a lot of people on here before and whatnot. But it's not about the quantity of people. It's the quality of what we get. That's what I like about this. Yes, yes. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing my work here. Go home. Give me some nice old smoothies, fur line, And nice. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's good, brother. Look, I knew you had it in you. I, that first little sentence you gave, man. <laughs> Come on. I knew that knowledge. But now you said something uh, powerful, but you always, when you speak, man, it, it, it has value. Uh, you feel yourself, I think, growing or getting better. And I think we said that before, man. Uh, the question we all got to ask ourselves every day is just, am I getting better? You know, like you said, I'm from the South Side, but I see the North Side. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes when you see, you're like, man, I like that better. <laughs> I like that. I like that side better. And that that's growing. That's growth. Uh, so praise God, you know. I, I tell P all the time when we talk. I said, boy, brother Javon, boy, look at you can. I can hear the difference from the first call or first couple of calls to now. Like, see that brother on the move, boy. He, what did he say? Uptown Saturday night. You want to move? 
<laughs> like my grandma always say, you don't let nothing, you don't let grass grow up under your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect, brother. But yeah, appreciate you, man. Appreciate appreciate your wisdom that you always put out. That's a blessing. Uh, let me see what we got. Brother Mike, are you able to talk? Uh, praise God to all. Praise God to all. I, I thank you all for your faith for keeping this line open for people like me who needs it. Um, having the the right frequency, mm. Mm. Uh, taking the word of God, uh, just listening to all the comments. The only thing I have to say is. Uh, Philippians sucks about let this mind of Christ be in you also. Mm. And wherever we go in all situations, uh, like Javon was saying, you know, he takes the word of God wherever he goes. He's never alone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the situation, uh, I'm doing great, first of all. Um, Praise God. Excellent. It was a wonderful week. I actually called in sick yesterday to take my wife out on a date. Oh, Go ahead, yeah. man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> sugar, sugar. <laughs> That's what you're uh, supposed she, to do. I did it. And I, you know, because I kept hearing all week, yeah, all you do is work. Oh, this mm -hmm. right, boy. I, I got to keep that big piece of chicken going. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what you did? You did it. You did it. I know. You did, you did, I did a small I thing. Did. But you did. I did. Oh, that, she, you hit the nail real good because that's all she is. She's about every small thing because it's about taking the time to notice. Her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the same thing with Christ. Take the time to notice him. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, I don't want to get off track. Uh, about keeping the, having the word of God in you. I had a wonderful time yesterday, but when we checked in, some the guy who checked me in said something and it hit me, but it didn't penetrate me. So that mm -hmm. means I, I blocked it off, walked away, got up and did a refreshment thing, you know, because we was out checking out a, a Brandy Clark at the um, Jefferson Theater. Awesome show by the way. Uh, I went to go get that refreshment and he said the same thing to me again. That mm -hmm. time it penetrated. So I'm off in my mind on the focus was on him. And I knew it was the enemy because I'm doing something good in this world, finally. You hear me? Um, went back and sat down. And that's why, this is why I say let this mind of Christ be in you also. Because mm -hmm. I sat there for a moment and I said to myself in the spirit, no, I am the word of God. I am God's child. I am his servant. Therefore, I am going to take this word, Satan, and I'm going to bring it back to you. You will bow. So at the end of the show, I went looking for him, looked right at him. He ain't said a word. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything to him, but I was waiting on that word. So that told me the spirit man in me spoke to the spirit that was operating in that man. Mm -hmm. That's what that told me. It moved him to let me let him know that I'm bringing God's word to you. And the word mm -hmm. is repent. Repent. That's the word he gave me to give to him. And I mm -hmm. just waited for that opportunity. But my point that I'm making is why wait for that opportunity to come out? It should have happened at that moment when it was presented. And mm -hmm. that's the mind of Christ that we have to carry. That's where I'm at. I close. Yes, sir. Appreciate appreciate uh, your wisdom there and your, your knowledge also. We just uh, Now, you weren't off track either. I wanna, uh, that's the first thing you, you you said. You took your wife out. A lot of us need to hear it. It's, uh, yes, your sir. first ministry is your family. It's your family. Yeah. And thank you. You tell you, you took a day off. Then the yes, other sir. small thing was you listen. Yes, and sir. You had to listen to take action. So that that's that's beautiful. But uh, like I said, a lot of us gotta take time to take care of our first ministry, which is our family. So yes, sir. 
Praise God for that. And <clears throat> last thing, you said this call has blessed you. And you said reference like people like yourself. No, it's people like us because we all get blessed here. And we all, Amen. Okay. we all have faults. We all can be put on back on the potter's wheel, uh, fix the, you know, to, 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 to fix these cracks up and, and these, these uh, uh, flaws, whatever you want to call them. So we all in the same wheel. You, you know, you, we just blessed it all to be together. And Amen. When I, I can't remember if it was you or Javon said, you know, being able to see if he can do it or something going on in your life gives me that reassurance Javon. that God is still, yeah, Javon, still God. So the whole purpose yeah. of this call is like, <laughs> is, is like church also. So we can see that God is working through somebody else. Because Sometimes you may have that day where you're like, man, what's going on? But you see right. the, the other men that's fighting through and showing that God still that's is right. God. He's, he's working. He's, he's working. working. Thank you, Lord. So pray, praise God. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you, sir. Brothers. I just looked at your last name. How you pronounce your last name? Me? Yeah. Jake away. It's Jake, Jake away. away. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I know. I, it, it's it's oh, no, uh, no. yeah. It, it's it, it's from just, France, man. That's from France. My grandmother's in a ratio. Okay. No, no. I was just I was just curious. Like, yeah. man, is that Jake away? Jack away? So I, yeah, I just, it, okay. most most would say Jack away, but uh, we we are we're firm on Jake away. Okay, Jake away. I just was curious. Appreciate you. Yeah, saying. yeah. I appreciate you asking, man. Most don't ask. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to mispronounce <laughs> it. So I got to ask. <laughs> Yeah, I hate you, man. I, I love you, man. I love you guys, man. I, I truly do, man. Yeah, we love you, sir. We, we appreciate you being on the call. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, and, uh, uh, I, I am still going. doing what you got to say. I'm sorry to cut you. Um, oh, no, you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They think Pete was, man, you know, he was talking. No, um, Carlos was talking about disciples and talking to, uh, getting the word out to others. Maybe it was, mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the, before I left out and get in my car, I hit up one brother and say, man, I know you're going home, but remember, you know, tonight's that uh, uh, Zoom tonight. He says, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, man, sign in, man, on your way home, man. Just make sure you sign in. So, you know, I'm still out there promoting the, the Zoom because it's important to reach every man out there. Absolutely. It's important. It's important. Appreciate I'm that. out, man. No, you're fine. You're fine. That's, that's what we're supposed to do. You're right on time. With that. That's what we're supposed to do. Once you give it, it's up to them after that. Yeah. I, now, thank you for that uh, understanding. I have to uh, receive that part of it as well. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't put no pressure. Just you can send them a little reminder if you feel like it, but don't feel like it's your responsibility. Was that okay? Should you take that horse to the water? Hey, man. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, yes, sir. I'm gonna I'm gonna direct I'm gonna give you the direction to the water, but at some point you gotta go take yourself to that water. Amen. Amen. I appreciate it again. Good, good, good nugget at the end. I see you, brother yeah, Austin. That water to the cold phone. and good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Refreshing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Yes, sir. <laughs> Refreshing water. I was yeah. trying to be quiet. He's thinking it's good though. <laughs> yes, yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, all good. We, yeah, go ahead. We, 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 you know where we at? How you doing? What's going on? Oh, Everything yeah, good? I ain't never hearing it. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was fine this week. So I just been uh, trying to make sure my grades as good as I can, make sure everything rounded up, and then get ready for the summer. I got me okay. a job doing landscaping. I'm, probably, I'm, I'm looking for an internship in my field. Um, and uh, cyber and programming is what I'm trying to get. So I've been applying the uh I've been applying for all uh, summer jobs and just doing a lot of school work. But um okay. uh, it's been good. We do a lot of evangelism with the um on campus on Monday and somebody ended up getting saved. So I, I praise God for that. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah. Good, good, take it day good. by day. Trying to take it day by day. Praise God, praise God. We definitely uh appreciate you. Internship uh um uh, have you tried you just some um because my younger son did IT. Did you try uh Google and Facebook? I know they're always looking for interns. Capital One always looking for interns. 
Yeah, um, I didn't see Google or Facebook yet. I, um, I saw a couple other big tech companies. I think Dell, Oracle, I think Apple, and Amazon. So I didn't see Google or Facebook, but I'm meeting with the Campus Career Service the group. Um, I think tomorrow they're gonna help me do a, a little bit of a expanded search. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't see it, yeah, just yeah. go on their web page. It might be yeah. on, it might be on their web page. So don't you know, shoot them. I check that out. Yeah, yeah. Because I know my son when he did them that they he he had a great time and they paid well. Yeah. I check them out then. I'll check tonight. Okay. All. all right. Praise God. Now I I seen you doing that hair up too. Don't think I didn't <laughs> see that. <in> <laughs> I got about half of them. Yeah. Not half of them in. Yeah, yeah, getting that retwist. I'm, I'm about to go and get a thing, Carol. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, brother. Yeah. Have, it's have all good to hear from y'all, though. Yeah, right, like brother. always. Brother, be safe, man. Yeah. Uh, P, you up, man. Come on. I was my week. Man, my man, week how was you, good. How you uh, yeah, man, my week was my week's been good. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, that's good. I, my week been good, man. You know, you know how I be, man. Week be good and everything be good, man. I ain't got no complaints. What people say, I ain't got no complaints and stuff like that or whatever. Now yeah, I do got, do got a complaint though. Yeah, them boys the Celtics they got they lost last night. They lost all the way about it's about my son though. My man, that man be eating up everything. You understand me? <laughs> everything. I said, good week, man. Look, I put a. He drunk my smoothies. I said, I said, I said, I said, I don't know. I don't know. Pray for me, God. Nah, hey. everything. You know. Hey, hey nah. you like <laughs> hey, you like Craig Dad on Friday. Craig. Hey, man, you eating up all the leftovers, man. <laughs> <laughs> and this dude's drunk, boy. Yeah. And <laughs> every, you eat every them. Time, yeah, every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. <laughs> That's my guy, man. <laughs> I, re I remember I remember uh, my mom saying the same thing to me when I was his his age. So uh, it's all good, man. I don't have any complaints, man. Um, just just somebody said it. I'm gonna just echo the same thing they said. You know, just day by day, man. By now, day. now faith gonna be some tomorrow. Now faith be some again. But the, the the blessed part is I have faith because God has given me a man to operate in and to listen to Him and to. Um, bring in and bring down whatever it is that he wants me to have so I can operate and move and maneuver. So yes. Yeah. Now I'm gonna flip it to you, my brother. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I got no complaints, man. Uh man, just uh blessed oh, to be here. Uh, the uh the um uh, uh Glenn Lee man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna speak about that too. Uh yeah, like I said, no complaints. Uh, man, God is good, man. Family doing well. It's not just doing well, man. Family got sound mind, body, soul, and spirit. That's a that's a true blessing. That's that's their soul is prosperous, like we said, not just your bank account. It's it's your flesh. I, I mean, when I say flesh, I mean we're doing well fleshly, but our spirits are doing well. Um uh, and it's good to be around, you know, brothers like yourself, man, just to just to see the growth in everybody, including myself. You know, you could, we all grown because the soul is good. And that's each one of us brings some, some minerals, some nutrients to the soul to help us all. And that's a blessing. Uh, each and every Thursday, man, you know, it's a blessing to hear the brothers. And, uh, you know, sometimes we always say, man, it's hard to get men together and just talk positive. And this is a great call because what we all do is we talk about the word, but we encourage each other through the word. And uh, that's that's great. Um, also, uh, we had opportunity to bless uh, one of the members on, 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 on the call. He's not here tonight, but it's uh, Principal James. Uh, he, he's a principal uh, at Glen Lee in the city. Uh, we had opportunity to bless him with uh, 14... Give Chick Fil A gift cards uh, for his uh, students that that did well uh, this year, and uh, so we're gonna we definitely partnership with him. Uh, he school is in the city, so he got his, he got his struggle, but man, he has such a great spirit. Every time I go there, I just get encouraged because he's the right man for the job. 
Yeah, you know, godly man for the job, because that's what the school needs, a godly man. And he's the right man for the job, full of energy, man. When you go there, you watch the kids. It, it's not funny, because kids, what they say, is, what is it, three people that's going to tell you the truth, a drunk, uh, a, a child, and I forget what's the other, an angry person. Uh, and those children, man, they run up to him, and they hug at him, man. They talking to him, so it's genuine. So we, it's, it's good. So we're gonna continue to bless him. We'll let everybody know when the next blessing is going to come around. So, we, so you know, maybe everybody can you know feel good about putting some seed in the ground. That, you know, just to bless him and his school and those kids uh, that need to see encouragement uh, and and see men in, in in the areas. So we'll put out the next uh, event that we are blessing with uh, in the near future. Oh, one other thing we're gonna put on the scale. We're gonna we're gonna schedule something for the month of May. I'm not sure I get with P. It just came to my spirit on uh, all of us getting together. Uh sit down, whether breakfast, lunch, whatever it is. Uh, but we are we'll definitely uh put it out next Thursday. By next Thursday, we'll have the date solidified and uh hopefully everybody can join. You don't have to stay the whole time. Uh just come out and and uh Break bread with everybody, man, and uh, we got we got some good news at that breakfast. Some good news, good news, good news, good news, good news at the breakfast. <laughs> All right, uh, I've got to ask anybody need prayer. Anybody need prayer? I don't want to leave without anybody need prayer or main thing. Anybody need Jesus Christ? Mm. You're looking to be saved, but uh, prayer. And don't want to take for granted that everybody is saved. But if you need Christ in your life and need to accept Christ, you know, we definitely want you to accept Christ. We don't want to pass on that, on that situation that Christ is number one. But if you need prayer, let us know. Man, I see mute buttons everywhere. I see red mute buttons. I guess we're good. All right, all right. We good. We like the auction. Going once. Going twice. Going three times. All right, we're going to pee for prayer. <laughs> no, no, Father here. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you for what has been shared, Father. We thank you for uh, encouraging our spirits, Lord God. Now, we ask that you help us to walk, walk out whatever it is that we need to walk out, Father. Wherever our faith is, Father, our now in faith, Lord God, help us to uh, just lead God and direct us, Father, according to your precious Holy Spirit, Father. We thank you, Father. We just um, help us to just get an agreement with your finished work. Help us to get an agreement with what it is that you've already established, Father, the plans that you have for our lives, Father. Uh, continue to work with us, Father. Continue to help us to stay in our lane, Father, and not compete with anybody else, Lord God. Uh, we thank you for, I thank you, Father, for each man that, that that's on the line, Father, and every uh, household that's represented, Father. We pray, Father, that you will continue just to be mighty and be glorified in our lives, Father, and all we say and that all we do, Father. We ask that your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, Father, will follow us, Father. That it will continue to do so, Lord God, even when we log off of this call, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, so much just for your love, your your plans that you have for us, Father. Continue to watch over us, continue to cover us, Father. May we enjoy the rest of this evening, Father, Lord God. We give you the glory, the praise, and honor for this in your mighty and matchless name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, fellas, man. Love y'all, man. Be safe. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, and what else we say, Pete? Man, we gone. We're gone. God God bless you. Have a good week. Good weekend. I'm a boy, Mike. 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 Man, look at my holler at you tomorrow, man. So, yep. what's a good time to go? Uh, it's man, don't act like you don't act like you're working, man. God. Hey, hey tomorrow, I like tomorrow, I like tomorrow, I like. Well, this just hit me up. Just do do uh do lunch. Hit me up for lunch. Okay, okay, I do that. I got. That. I got to run some errands. I got to pick my truck up. All my AC was out. Woo! So I was a little oh. sweat. Huh? Call me on lunch. I call you at lunch? No, so I said, you talking about, I can't do that, man. See? <laughs> no, I said, I can do that, man. I said, oh, but I got to go pick up my truck later. Man, that's oh. just my country accent, man. I, I was putting everything together. Like man. spaghetti, man. Hey, Carlo, Carlos. Carlos, hey, he, hey, he, 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 he,
Hey, Mike, for real, you my homeboy, man. I love you, and I appreciate you, man. It, it's still yeah, winning. I should have. I should have. What's that? I should have said, uh, I'll be back. But I, I, I left my homeboy talking. Forgive me. Charge that to the flesh. Next man, time I'm with Hey, I mean, next time I'm going to say, hold on a minute. Look at me. I'm like, Jesus, I totally forgot about that, man. <laughs> hey, man, I, I forgot about that. Go ahead, man. I ain't worried about that. <laughs> I'm gone, man. All right, brother. I'll holler at you. All right. <laughs>